In this video, I will show you how to add non-Steam games to Steam. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm here on my desktop and I've currently got Steam open. Now to add any non-Steam games, it's actually very, very easy to do. So what I'm gonna do is just make this full screen first of all. And the first thing you're going to want to do is come to the top and click onto library. Once that's done, just come down to the bottom left hand corner and you're going to see this option to add a game. If you go ahead and give that a click, you're going to get a few options come up. And what you want to do is just click on the top one which says to add a non-Steam game. So what it's going to do is detect some games and applications on your computer that you can just scroll through and find. If you can't see the game on here, what you can do is just go ahead and click the browse button underneath. And then you can just go ahead, browse through your computer and find the application or game that you want to add to Steam. So in this example, I'm just going to go ahead and add Roblox. So you can see it's here, it's actually saying Roblox Play It. So what you want to do is just tick the box and you can add mul multiple games at one point. Uh, once that's done and you've selected your games, you then want to come down and click Add Selected Programs. Now, if we look to the left hand side on our games library, you can see the Roblox player has been added there. So if I actually click onto this, you can see that this is ready to go. Now, at the moment, I know it's a bit basic. You've only got sort of a black background, but what you can do is actually right click here and you can click on to set custom background. What you can do is actually download a picture or an image from Google if you want to. Um, so if I just use this one, for example, and what you can do is double click and you can actually add your own custom background. So you could download like a picture of Roblox or something like that and then to play the game again all you need to do is simply click the green play button down here what it's going to do is going to start loading up the game through Steam so here this quick tutorial how to out today and if it did I'd really appreciate it if you want to drop down below the video leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel for that being said I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial